tracking crime where you live tonight. It is a way to use the power of the Internet to take care of some personal problems. CBS 47's Jeff Butera has the story tonight of two Jacksonville guys who don't even know each other but are using the same website to get a little attention. It's just a leather jacket, but for Mike Davis, it's more than that. It's got a lot of sentimental value. It was given to me as a uh, graduation gift. But on Friday, at TGI Fridays, someone stole it. Somebody walked by and grabbed it and took off with it. Ten years ago, this was all Mike could do. Plant up some flyers, hand them out maybe, um, call people. Now he's doing this. It says Atlanta, 1996 Olympics on the back. He's putting out a plea on YouTube, a website where you can post video on the net begging for help finding his jacket. If you have seen this coat anywhere in Jacksonville, Florida, or you know who has stolen this coat from me, please email me here on YouTube. Mike's YouTube plea is just one example of how Internet video has changed how we live our everyday lives. For more proof, just ask Jerry Moran. The downtown restaurant owner's been posting video of vagrants on YouTube, then sending the link to city council members to urge them to make downtown more business friendly. And it worked, and I didn't have to send them a 10 or 12 meg file, which is getting up there. His watershed moment, he says, video of football announcer Tony Kornheiser getting panhandled at his restaurant last year. 14,000 web surfers have seen it. It alerted everyone, it let the city council know and the JSO know how bad the problem was down here. YouTube has not solved Mike's problem yet, no jacket as of now, but he's getting quite a response from this new phenomenon. I've got uh, a few hundred views of the video already, um, probably uh, over 100 different emails, people saying they'll look out for it. Jeff Butera, CBS 47 News. And three guys invented YouTube in February 2005, and what did they sell it for? Something like a billion dollars. Time Magazine named it Invention of the Year in 2006, and YouTube says people view 100 million clips each day on that website. We put the link to Mike's YouTube plea for his jacket on our website. You can find it on the link section at CBS47.com.